All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the Nauto cameras, N2, N3. Let's do it down and dirty on this. Appearing to the left, we have a Nauto N2 camera. How can we tell it's an N2? Number one, the QR code is on the bottom left. The notch is always on top. This is an N2. An N3, the QR code is on the right-hand side over here notch on top, and also pay attention to this little screw and this little piece up here. N3, N3, N2. The harnesses on the N2 and the N3 are compatible as long as the N2 has been powered to ignition. That was a red wire. As you can see, the plug is the same. One side has nothing on the back of it. The um, side that's going to go up has these two little bosses on it. Just remember, the boss is always on top, so there's your two bosses which will plug in to the N3 camera. Business as usual with this. Um, once it's plugged in, you'll see where this is going to rest inside the strain relief. And once that's in there, we'll be able to use one of these brackets to mount to the camera. Now, all right, so we have, as they're calling them, N3 brackets, pretty much still the same. Remember, this tab is going to go towards the top of the windshield. The new N3 camera is going to slide on top of this. It's kind of a bayonet mount, so it's going to slide in and then mount in, and then you can push up on it. Then take your T3 driver, or I'm sorry, your T5 driver, and we're going to tighten up a screw on one side of it. Um, preferably, there's not going to be any mirror or obstruction on this side. You can do it on the right side. There's also a screw back here, as you can see. Again, T5, same size. Get this mounted up there. Your cable is going to be coming out of the top. This is going to go up on the glass. You can change the angle if you need to. Um, this is a 20 degree. This is a 40 degree. And as you can see, if you look at both of them, this is kind of this is more for a windshield that's going to be straight up and down, like in a cab over um, a Cizu NPR, something of that sort, uh, utility master delivery truck. This might be better suited for something like a Ford Transit uh, van with less, uh, with an angle on the windshield, but it's not vertical. It's just more of an, an angle. As you know, working with the camera, uh, the camera has a 170 degree field of view. So this angle is gonna allow the camera to see across the whole view of the truck um, down to the uh, lower end of the steering wheel. Something that you do need to know is say, say you call into a vehicle that has an N2 camera that's been in it and it's got an N2 bracket, um, an N2 bracket on the windshield. Well, you don't want to sit there and spend all that time and possibly break the glass pulling the old one off, right? Something you can do is this is a T5 right here, and we did a video on this before all by itself on the YouTube channel. You can actually take this out, it's one screw, this whole piece comes out. Now, this whole thing will still mount on the old style N2 bracket. Again, remember it's a bayonet mount, okay? This will be on the this will be on the glass. This will mount to it slightly. You just kind of go a little bit below on it, and it will lock in, and then it will slide upward. Once it slides upwards and seats, all you do again is just pick a side, tighten up your T3, or I'm sorry, keep going T3, a T5, T5 Torx, and lock it in. It'll. It's, this is already on the glass. You're good to go. If not, you're going to have to use the app to kind of focus the camera, set the camera up on where it needs to be. So that's that. So N2, N3, let's get that out of the way. Here's the N3 harness. Now you're probably wondering, you open this thing up, like, wow, look at this. Um, okay, how are we going to make this reach everything? Well, you're being supplied with a fuse holder and an inline fuse. Red is hot, and it's, it's labeled. Red is hot. White is for ignition. There's nothing on it. And they have marked the ground for you with a little negative note on a tag. What we do is, I mean, there's a ferrite coil right here, which is supposed to reduce interference. They may have done this for compliance, or it may have been an engineering idea. I'm not really sure, but this is what we do. Um, makes life a lot easier. Cut it off. You can be done with it. Now you have as much as you need. You can use your auto stripper. Kind of go through. Get your leads all set up. This will pull off nice and easy. You're going to have some shielding left over. 
on this here, just cut it. You don't need it. It's not going to interfere with anything, but just cut it short. Be a nice guy so it doesn't short anything out. And again, you can go through with your um, with your stripper, strip these ends, get this out. Now, so now you've got good old red, white, and black, right? 12-volt automotive standard. Using a buck connector, you want to go ahead and use a buck connector and get your uh, constant 12 together. Then you'll have you'll have this lead right here. You'll also have your white for ignition and put a ring terminal on this and self-tap ground. Now you can make this as long as you want, of course. I really wouldn't probably wouldn't go any longer than 12 inches if you're prepping this stuff. But as you can see, it works out really nice. Um, once you do add the fuse, add the fuse to it, you can see you're gonna have plenty of extra on there. So you can actually cut further if you need to. Um, Again, using an auto stripper or some other tool. I like this better than using a using a knife. But anyhow, if you look at it, well, there you go. You can just make it as long as you need to have it. Trim, uh, compensate for it by cutting, uh, you know, reducing the length of the constant 12 or the red. That's pretty much it. This will thread all the way up through the side on the A pillar. Make sure you do not go over any airbags. You want to go under the airbag and uh, leave about, you know about eight to 10 inches hanging out in the headliner until you're ready to install your camera. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the uh, that's a simple install for the uh, N2 and N3 camera. The only other thing to remember is use the app that they supply you with. The app will take you through all phases of the installation. If you have a problem, there's a question mark in the upper right-hand part of the app itself once you get into it. And it'll take you to a video, um, an install guide, provide you with email and phone number if you need tech support. So, uh, again, Nauto N2, N3, N3 backwards, con or N N2 conversion. Um, it's all there. Pretty simple. Shouldn't take any more than 15 minutes to do a camera swap. Uh, the other thing we found out, too, is on these, on these uh, N3 cameras, if you install one of these and you see red lights in the front, well, red lights typically means that the camera is bad. Do not go any further with the install. What we have found is not always made a change where if you're swapping a device out and you use the app to kind of get this stuff in there and all of a sudden the red lights come on, what they want you to do is call in to them and let them physically swap the device or RMA the device in their system and they'll reprovision this device over the air the red lights will go away and it'll operate as it's normally supposed to. So if you put this in, old rule used to be red lights, you know, stop what you're doing, get rid of the camera. New rule, red lights, call Nauto Tech Support. They'll work with you to get the device checked in and help you move on with the install. Also, don't forget your uh, reset button is still between the volume up, volume down and volume up buttons right here. You can use a uh, paper clip to go inside and do a hard reset on the device if you need to. That's pretty much it, gang. Enjoy. Hope this helps.